Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh here, and uh, today we're going to be uh, actually picking up on where we left off. Um, if you guys remember the series, which I hope you do, um, it's a quick tip of the week or so, so we're going to be starting that again. Um, so, uh, if you guys don't know what this is, this is the new uh, Photoshop uh, CS6, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, trying this out for a few times, and I'm getting pretty used to it. So, um... Again, guys, if you have CS5 or CS4 or something, it's pretty. It's basically the same. Uh, all the controls over here are the same and everything, so don't really worry about that. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to File, uh, New. Uh, honestly, do whatever you want. What we're gonna be doing today is how to use the gradient tool. Um, so that's gonna be pretty, pretty quick and simple. So you're gonna go over here to your bar toolbar over here. You're gonna go to the paint bucket, at, um, or it's already the gradient tool. So if it's the gradient tool, then you're just fine. So what else? You're, uh, what you're gonna do now is gonna go right here. You're gonna click this one, right here, and then you're gonna choose your own colors. So what I like to do is do a really nice um, gray, and then a pretty close, a color pretty close to it. So we'll just um, what I like to do actually again is I like to select the back uh, the background image. Uh, I like to do take out my rulers. If you don't know how to do that, just do Control R. Uh, put it one right in the middle like that. It should lock in. Put another one right in the middle like that. It should lock in. Try and put the cursor in the middle as much as possible, and then just drag it over like that. Now, as you can see, it's going like all weird and everything. So what we're gonna do is put it to radial, and you're just gonna do it again, and then it should be like that. Uh, whoops, that's actually not radial. This is radial. And then just pull it over. And then it should be fine. If you also want to, you can do reverse. Uh, it'll, I think I like reverse a lot better too. It all depends on what the color, um, where the colors are. So I would do lighter to darker. So that's what, um, main things that I would do. Um, and, and again, for the circle in the middle, for it to be smaller, just drag it out, uh, shorter. Uh, for it to be bigger, just drag it out as much as you want. And, yeah. So, guys, uh, I hope you like this quick tip. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe and have a nice day.